keeps lighting up the way, even on the darkest day. Dawn is breaking, all awaken from the night, from the shore into the waves, washing all the bitterness away, lifting darkness with her stillness and her grace. It's you I like, and you mean everything to me. It's you I like, cause you are light, and I see everything I need, it's all right. Shine bright, light up the skies above, shine bright, and do it with the ones you love, shine bright. And I'll promise to never let it die. Shine bright. Light up the stars above. Shine bright. And do it in the name of love. Shine bright. And I'll promise to never ever let it die. Far too big is the sky for only one bird to fly. And oh, how beautiful is the night when more than one star shines. Who in this room is willing and ready to fully shine freely without anything holding you back? Hmm? The answer, the major key is hope. Yes, everyone say hope. Okay, we'll get to that. But my name, <laughs> my name is Major. Yes, that's the name my mama gave me. And hope means so much to me that I actually had it tatted right here on my arm. You see that? I haven't really been one for tattoos. <laughs> Neither was my mama. <laughs> But I realized that I needed a constant reminder that I had to actually live the hope I give. And we've heard it so many times before. Hope for this. Don't lose hope. Keep hope alive, as the great Reverend Jesse Jackson has always said. And I think we've heard it as mere cliche without any power. But I'm convinced that cliches are intended to be divinely repeated until we actually get it. So get this, hope is powerful. It's liberating, it's an anchor, it's permission. Beautiful people, welcome to the liberation of hope. Let's say it again, hope. hope. Hope is not the denial of reality. It's the commitment to believe greater is on the other side of it. Yeah? Hope does not pretend that your difficulties, that your struggles, that your hardship, that your pain, that your shame, that your reign does not exist. But it's a decisive posture that anchors you in the midst of your circumstance. It gives you permission to believe for better while in it. And it's not, it's not that easy. <laughs> but if you put that muscle of hope to work one moment, one circumstance, one day at a time, it becomes second nature. And, and, and then you'll realize you actually don't have to rush yourself into the process of it all because you'll find that pace is grace. You like that, right? You like that. It's hope. Every single storm, every storm runs out of rain, theoretically and literally. 
Name one that didn't. I'll wait. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> because truly, while there may be casualties, yes. While there may be devastation, yes. Every single storm eventually runs out of rain. And what happens after that? Brighter days, open skies, possibilities, hope. It's, it's, it's powerful, and, and my life is, is, is proof. I know trauma, but still I hope. I'm all too familiar with hardship, but still I hope. Rejection, my industry is full of it. Rejection, <laughs> rejection. I've heard no so many times that I had to flip that thing <laughs> and I had, to, I had to make it an encouragement to myself that from here on out, the acronym for N-O will now be next one. Y'all like that? Yeah, next one. Because sure enough, if this ain't it, I'm getting the next one. You're getting the next one, beautiful people. Gatekeepers told me I was too articulate for soul music. That's what they told me. So I'm thinking Sam Cooke. I'm thinking Nat King Cole, Jackie Wilson, John Legend, Major, <laughs> Grammy, Soul Train, Image Award nominated. That's, that's me. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I ain't that, ain't that, ain't that. Platinum selling soulful love song. This is why I love you. Yeah? Yes. Stevie Wonder even saw that. He says, Major, I believe this is going to be, this is going to touch the world. <laughs> <laughs> and from TV to film, I got a little extra change to get all the crispy chicken nuggets I want. Yeah. Here I am thriving in the next one. Hope preserves you in the turbulence of opinion. Unwelcome suggestions, pressure, stress, uncertainty, and it delivers you right into the next new thing. Lean into it, beautiful people. It is an anchor. Don't you dare let go. Hope. 10 out of 10 medical Professionals, doctors that I've spoken with have reported that they've noticed that patients with positive mindsets are more likely to recover quickly and fully than those of suppressed mindsets. It's called mindset theory, a phenomenon that medical experts in the medical world has marveled over for decades. Mindset makes the difference. Once you set your mind on hope, the possibilities are boundless. It frees you from suppression's grip. And I want you to understand that as you are freed from suppression's grip, you won't eventually look like the stuff you've been through. That's that beautiful thing called hope. It releases you and rescues you from the weight of oppression, of panic, of paralysis, of believing. Hope is a disruptor woo, of circumstances. Yes, these thorns have pricked me, but still in my hand, I hold one of the most beautiful roses I've ever seen. Look at that. That's beautiful. Would it be fair for me to, to deny that beauty simply because of the reality of thorns? Can they both exist? Absolutely. But I'm going to lean into the beauty and hope that when I give it to the one I love, that she too will love it and see 
That beauty. April 4th, 2020. I know where I was. Where were you? We should have been the same place, home. (laughs) And if you weren't, shame on you. Unless you were an essential worker and I say thank you. Let's give them an applause. Thank you. All right. I got a group text. And let me tell you, I can't stand group text because when Androiders join in on the iPhone group text, you cannot leave the conversation. You are stuck in it. But I digress. This particular group text was from a brother who doesn't text much. And so I'm like, okay, he's probably got something to say. And I had nothing else to do. (laughs) You know what I mean? So I'm reading the text, and he said, let's collectively pray for the hope of the world at 1045 Eastern Standard Time. I love to pray because I believe prayer is powerful. It, It accesses immediately the divine on your behalf. Let's pray for the hope of the world, he says, because COVID-19 has not only impacted the molecular, but it's also affected the emotional and the mental paralysis of belief. Anxiety, stress, uncertainty had gripped all of us. He says the plague was asked why it had killed so many. The plague responded, I only killed 100. The thousands that died, died from the fear of me. Mindset. Mindset makes a difference. It's so powerful, y'all. Four months later, on August 28, 2020, ironically, the same day Dr. King gave his I Have a Dream speech, that brother who sent that text made a transition that shook the world. I had no idea that for four years, he was battling cancer. Had every rationale to wallow in the despair of his circumstance, right? But Chadwick Boseman decided not only to hope for himself, but for the world. Harriet Tubman, JFK, Gandhi, Susan B. Anthony, you, me, hope. May we all collectively in this chaotic eight billion of us world embrace a treasure that hope offers as well. And that is the gift to catch our breath. Let's all take one in. Let it out. You're welcome. Beautiful people, lean into that beautiful liberation and fully unapologetically become everything you hope to be. My name is Major And I approve that message.